So we're going to start off with a moist banana nut muffin, and I guess we have to start off with the bananas, right? I think we do. All right. So when you're making banana nut muffins, I think it's really important to start off with bananas that aren't exactly, you know, that look like they, you know, um, the best cooking fruit is usually not the prettiest. Right, because it's uh, you know once the bananas start to you know go off like a day or so, right. the, the they really start to develop a lot of sugar and they're actually quite sweet. And they taste really good. Did not know that. And, and they actually hmm. they, and they get nice and creamy. All right, good. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two bananas. There's gonna be four bananas in this whole recipe. All right, but you're gonna take two. Oh, you can have that. They're one. a little ripe, though. Yeah, yeah. well, the, the, you want those, right? You want when you, that. You, when you're making okay. when you're making banana bread or banana muffins, you want one that's like a day or two old. All right. And if you have some uh, that. You pick up from a grocery store. I'll take that one. All righty. Two for you and two for me. Two right? for two. Now, if you pick up a couple of bananas in the grocery store and they're, they're still like really kind of bright yellow, mm -hmm. you might want to throw them into a bag for a couple of days and they'll start to ripen up quickly. Oh, great idea. All right, so all right, we're gonna we're gonna make. Uh, you've got two. I've got right? two. Now, what I want you to do with these guys, all right? I want you to take the um the the beater here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and very carefully on on a nice low speed, mm -hmm. you drop it in there. Okay. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, there you go. It takes a second for the bananas to start to break down. But uh, what Jack's doing, um, she's going to break the bananas down um, and use her two uh, for moisture, right? Bananas actually contain quite a bit of water, right? It's going to be liquid. So, so she's going to cream those down so um, the bananas stay nice and moist. And I'm actually going to take two bananas and kind of hand crush them, all right? So two are for moisture and two are for texture. So when you break the muffin open, you can actually see this banana muffin. Oh, great. Right. So you know you're eating a banana muffin when? <laughs> yeah, exactly, when you can see it. I'm breaking it down. Exactly, yeah. right. Good. So you've got two, and I've got two. So you're just using a fork, so it's loosely yeah. done. I'm just going to mash them up on the fork. All righty. All right, a couple of brown sugar. Fold that in. Good. It's good. Perfect. Okay. So we're cream it together. I'm going to add two eggs. All right, so I've got my um, my bananas are nice and mixed up like that. I think it looks going to look really good for a texture start. Mm -hmm. I'll mix my dry ingredients together, right? So I've got I've got a cup and a half. Okay, I'm snagging cup here. Got yep. a cup and a half of whole all-purpose flour, right? All right, one and a half. A like few lumps here and working out. You can look working the lumps out. Working the lumps. You out. Can actually, I think you can turn the speed up a little bit. Is there a speed thing in there? Sure. Perfect. Ooh, this there is you a go. Nice thing. It's nice. nice mixer. That's yours. Thank you. You can, you can have that one. I go home every day with something special. <laughs> it's prizes. You cook with Tyler. Right. Okay, so we got a cup and a half of flour. Okay, I got a teaspoon and a half of baking soda. All right, cool. So um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter to this. Okay. Let me turn it down a little bit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to wear this. Okay, I got a stick, like three fourths of a stick of melted butter. All right. I like that. Good. Pull good. Like that. Perfect. Uh huh. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna crack now, two eggs in here as well. Is the butter just for more moisture or something else? Yeah, moisture and flavor. Else? Flavor. Nice, yeah. Flavor. Right. flavor. 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 Right, oh, one-handed egg cracker. <laughs> you must have gone to school for many oh years That's of right. that, my sir. Look at one that. Of my, one of my skills in life. What can I say? I can crack an egg one hand. One day I'll do that. That's good. All right, so mix all together. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Then we're gonna fold our. Actually, our a little bit of vanilla right now, right? Alrighty. A little bit of vanilla. Good. Give it some taste like that. How much uh, was that? Perhaps. Um, that like was probably. Estimate. I was, it's like a uh, probably like a tablespoon or okay. a little bit less, maybe like oh, like a teaspoon. And a half. Good. All right, perfect. All right, now what I'm gonna do is fold. Can we turn down a little bit? Sure. I, have, I, I don't want to wear this. It's very exciting, this machine. I'm okay, so I'm going to add flour. It's a little bit of time to start to incorporate slowly. We've got our batter here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold in the last couple of ingredients. All right. All right, so we've got our banana, right? Our chopped up banana. What you going to drop The whole in? thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Okay. okay. That's good. Now, um, the first two bananas we actually pureed with a, a cake mixer, and that's going to make the uh, the muffins very moist. It's also give it a very sort of banana y kind of flavor. And then we're going to fold in the, uh, the chopped up banana to give it lots of textures. So when you break the muffin open, you actually see what you're eating. Just that's good. like this? Okay, well, we'll, we'll, fold, okay. we'll fold the bananas and the nuts in All at the same, at the same time. time. Exactly. Okay. Right. So so this part of the process, right, you want to be, um, it's not super delicate, but you want to be a little fragile with it because right. um, uh, muffins should be nice and moist and soft, right? Um, when you Ooh. add liquid to flour, it creates what's called gluten, right, right. which is great for bread because you want bread nice and chewy, but you want your muffins nice and soft, right? So just okay. mix it just so it comes together. Gingerly, you know, gingerly if you will. Right. All right. Perfect. Okay, cool. Good, so that's it? Huh, easy enough. Hooray. You, it's like boiling water. You're How a mixer. Easy? That's right. All righty, so? You're a human mixer. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take our muffin tin. It's lined yes. with muffin. What do you call these things? What are these things called? Muffin tin liners, Cups, sir. Muffin tin liner cup yes. things. All right, great. So we uh, we um, uh, take a scoop. I mm -hmm. think this is the best way to get muffins out of a bowl and into a tin without you know making a big mess. All right. It's using a big ice cream scoop. Oh, is that's that good. too much? That's good. Maybe yeah, it's a tad a little less. Bit less. Yeah, kind okay. of halfway. Okay. All right, that's good. perfect. I can do this. Easy enough. May I put these in the oven and yep. how long? Perfect. Um, three seventy-five. 
um, for somewhere between 18 and 20 minutes. We're going to start to look at them at 18 minutes. On the upper and rack? 20 minutes will be great. Yep, that's perfect. Lovely.